So the last time that we updated you, we were filling the losses in the paint layer using the Japanese tissue to bring it up level with the surrounding paint. And the next step after that was to do the strip lining of the canvas. So what we did was we rolled the painting back up um, on the big black cylinder that you see behind me and rolled the painting back out, this time with the paint layer facing down so that we could access the back of the painting. And the original tacking edges of the painting were quite weak and fragile. And so we decided that they needed some reinforcement. So that took a couple of days. We used a conservation adhesive that needed to be heat set to attach those strips of canvas down. And then we used quite a lot of weight to get a really good bond because really those strips are what is holding the canvas onto the stretcher. Then we brought the stretcher uh, members up into the space on a day that we were closed because we needed to lay the entire stretcher out and build it. And then we started the process of attaching the painting back onto the stretcher. And the stretcher, I should say, is the original stretcher that the painting that came with the painting back in 1878. Once that was done, we had the exciting moment of actually raising Moses up, which involved, once again, a big team of people. And now we're on to the exciting stage in the project where we're working on the frame of the painting. The frame is the largest frame in the NGB collection. It's original to the painting. The artist actually chose it for the work. The frame's in beautiful condition, really. The dirt layer that we're removing from both the painting and the frame is probably a combination of dirt and dust, um, residues from back in the day when there might have been people smoking in the gallery back in the 19th century, and also a time before filtered air and climate control and things like that, where you might be getting a bit of the outdoor pollution settling on the surface of artworks as well.